Hey guys, welcome back. Air drill season is coming up pretty quick. We got that sprayer done like you saw in the last video. That is ready to leave the shop. We're gonna get the uh, Nova cart brought in here. I got stainless steel tubes ordered for underneath to replace all the steel ones that are rusted out. And then we're gonna also rebuild the meters, put new O-rings and bushings in those uh, meter boxes so that they are not gonna have any issues. Nothing gonna leak, make sure everything freely turns underneath there. Turns freely, that would be the right way to say that, I suppose. Yeah, you put this camera in front of your face and your whole brain just becomes mush. Anyways, let's go get the tractor started. We'll go get the drill pulled up to the shop so we can get that unhooked. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Yep, it's still here. They finally got all the parts for the new one that is going to the farmer that traded in the one that I'm getting. So, we should have that pretty soon, if you're wondering. He said he wants to be a fireman someday. I think he's practicing right on the back of the ladder truck. Kind of folding up like the 70 foot drill. Eh, but it's cold oil. Going where? Video on you? It's videoing me? No. Yeah. So how do you do this job? That's a concept I was doing. You're gonna help us put pins in the cylinder so they don't settle down and it goes down the road. What? Well, the openers will drag on the highway when they move, so we gotta put. Uh, where are you taking this? Well, hopefully someone's going to buy it. I'm taking it to the shop now to work on it. Should go up top and see what Paul's doing. Okay. Well. You. You're videoing me. That's what dad said to do. What? The magnet on this is too strong. You're right, it is cold up here, but that's only because I don't have gloves on. My fingers are frozen. They hurt. Uh, buddy, you okay? Buddy, June! <laughs> Got it. This is only the second time we've ever hooked this cart. Only second time? Only the second time. It was the first time when I came here? You no, know, the first time was when I dro drove into a bog at night and buried the drill. Oh. And an excavator pulled this away. Ah. Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing. So you're saying mine wasn't that bad? No, but Dad was riding with me in the tractor at night when I turned the corner, and he didn't say anything about that corner when he sprayed it. In his defense, he couldn't read my mind. In my defense, the year before I drove right across it with an air seater, and he didn't think it was wet. <laughs> I'm get, let me guess it's that corner down there. No, it's bottom. south of the dam in the hills. Oh. Oh, I'll probably, if I can find a picture, I'll put it on here. We had a crane up there. That didn't work. So, I just had three tractors, so I win. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> the, uh, the reason I drove in there is because it was really tall Kempala stubble after it prevented plant year, seed winter wheat. And I would pull it in there and I was going to dump all the stubble out in the grass. And, 
I dumped a stud while, but I buried the drill. Mm -hmm. Can the old TRX do it? Oh, yeah. See, not right, though. I think uh, this, is the, this is the indicator for how heavy it is. Oh, how squatty the tire is? <laughs> well, ain't that just funny. Tony, I think you need the tanks with it. Terex is tiny compared to that cart. Whew. Oh yeah, plain room. Well, it fits. Did you say anything about having to, ooh, got a little disco going on here. <laughs> Did you see anything about moving that deal out of the way? I did not. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, 24 foot door, 21 foot wide cart. Forgot these are 20 foot doors. So we built hoppers to get the 24 foot hoppers out. We made this thing movable. There's a barn track or like a regular oak sliding door track. On the top or the bottom of the header on that door, barn rollers, door rollers on there. This is all supported. So it, you know, it's suspended off the ceiling. Roll it out of the way, 40 foot door. Works pretty slick. So, glad that was on there because removing duels for this wouldn't have been much fun. No. No. So what we're gonna replace down here is all these steel tubes and these Y manifolds. This cart is set up single shoot currently. We never really ran fertilizer down the seed shank and the fertilizer shank like it was bought. We ordered it that way thinking we were gonna double shoot our fertilizer put some with the seed. We never did that just because the seed's so close on the seed master to the fertilizer. So we ordered double shoot Ys, but single tubes. So we're gonna put new manifold Ys on down here, whole bunch of tubes down here, and then rebuild these meters, put new seals and bushings in them. Honestly, we've gone, I don't know, 70,000 acres on this drill and never replaced those bushings. So. Yeah, we should have done that a long time ago, probably. But we haven't had any troubles that we know of. Things changed a little bit this morning. Man, this isn't even forecast. Hid. For forecasted, yeah, forecasted. Well, Colin's been busy this morning getting the tubes off and uh, I've been playing a phone operator in the uh, office because someone's gotta do the crappy job around here. Much rather be doing this on the phone. But uh, as you can see, these are, uh, 
a little a little wore out. So look at this one. You put it. What do you do? You put the channel lock on there and just crushed. Yeah, I just gently squeezed to break the hose and it went. You're, you're so strong, Colin. Yeah, Tony. Tony <laughs> strong. Tony tight. So these are ready to come off. Colin's getting some oil up on the meter bolts, so we can start pulling those off and see what rebuilding that looks like. Well, now that I uh, got the meters off the cart, time to start rebuilding them. So you can see there, a little bit of fertilizer dust getting through the seals. That bushing is loose in there. The o this bushing runs inside of an O-ring, so I'll get this all apart here and show you what I'm talking about. So here's the actual meter roller that goes inside here, and it turns, and as it turns, it pulls product from, this is the top, pulls product underneath the meter, pushes it up and it drops into this tube and then it goes through those imaginary tubes right there. It hooks up to those hoses. When that stainless steel gets there, you'll, that'll make more sense. But there's these two washers on either side, one on top, one on bottom. Like that in there. These are all fine. We're not replacing any of that stuff. The only thing we need to replace is this bushing. which looks like this, and you can see how it's not square on the top anymore. New ones are different colored, but you can see the difference here between the two. One has a groove in it from the O-ring, the other one's not so flat yet. So I got these popped out now, and the O-ring on this back side's probably fine, but they're like a dollar thirty a piece, so we're changing those. This inside here is pretty uh, hard, kind of fill of fertilizer, and so since the new bushing's going through there, anyways, we're putting the new O-rings in. Believe it or not, this inside one's like five and a half bucks. This outside one is something like dollar thirty, around there somewhere. Crazy. Why would a bigger one be cheaper? Get the pick in there. This old one out. Yeah, it's pretty pretty flat spotted on that inside from that bushing. Getting these all cleaned out. Ready for the new one inside there. And then dig that outside ordering out. We'll get that wire brushed up. Now we need to clean up this surface down here a little bit because it gets rusty and scaly and kind of expands. So we gotta clean off that layer of scaly rust and then that new bushing will sit down there a lot better flat and everything will just fit together nicer. The new o-ring in the inside, 
Make sure it seats all the way around, nothing's still stuck in that groove. I think that one's good. Yep, fits the bushing good. Okay, ready for assembly. through, put the seal plate on, and normally I do this last, but my last bushing in the bag is smashed. So for now, I guess we'll just leave it. A couple months back we uh, talked about uh, Kelly Petty and her surgery to expand her skull and stuff for the front of her face out because of her just genetic condition that she has does not allow that to grow right. So she had that surgery this month. Some of you guys were asking how it's going. It's going very good. I'll put the link in the description again for their, uh, I think it's a carrying bridge link I'll put in there. Lots of good information. They're doing great. Thank you again for helping us do that fundraiser. They had a goal of uh, $27,000, I believe, and they hit 32,000. So you guys are awesome. Thanks so very much for helping them out with that. And if you guys donated and are really curious on how that's all going, go check that uh, link down in the description and uh, send them a message. Uh, let them know what you guys are thinking of them. Looks like I get to use the 5240 one more time before it goes to the dealership. Feed the cows with it. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully the new one shows up next week. I'm gonna kind of miss that tractor, but I'm gonna really like the new one too, I think. CVT. I have two CVTs on the yard. That means constant constantly constantable constant constantly constantly varying transmission something like that you know kind of like a hydrostat but not really really handy in a loader tractor and a bailing tractor and a grain cart tractor lots of those things works pretty good in haven't tried it in a four-wheel drive but they do put that like in the 540 i believe quads so Maybe they were good in that too. Well, the snow sure disappeared fast today. It's like 45 degrees out and uh, feels kind of spring-like, but we got a winter weather advisory coming tonight through Monday. So, uh, Saturday, by the way. Gonna get some of this stuff put in the shop so I got uh, projects when it gets cold out. Because along with that winter weather advisory, we also have like some highs of 10 below coming up next week. And I really don't want a chance trying to start equipment when it's cold. And I might as well put the sprayer away too because that doesn't need to sit off for another month. Just a measure in there too to see if the yeah. new air cart will fit in there. Are they going to be able to hear you over this bouncy rattler of a pickup? Oh, I'm sure. Everybody loves Blunder. <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to write the name in the dust. <laughs> but we did measure the air seater cart is with the duals on it. The new one coming is like six inches too wide. 
and like four inches too tall. No. Something like we that. Measured. Anyways, we need yeah. a bigger shed. Name tag. Okay, we don't really need a bigger shed. We would like a bigger shed. No, there's no we. <laughs> Let's be real. I would like a bigger shed. Let's look at our pretty horsies over here. Hey! Can I smoke? Hey, Sandra D. She's hiding over there. Hey! Sorry, I'm not walking across the ditch. I'd sink in with this wet stuff now. They think it's springtime. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be confused tomorrow. They're in for a rude awakening. Hey, Sandy! Hi, baby girl! She's getting big. <clears throat> Look her, I love how furry she is. <laughs> You're about as furry as you. It's time for a Sunday shave. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, go check out the Caring Bridge update in the link below for Kelly. And uh, don't forget, for our hard, pray harder. See you next video.